Hey guys, what's up? Uh, so it's something I've never really talked about on this channel before, uh, but I'm a prepper, meaning that I'm someone who tries to be prepared for, you know, eventual crazy things happening, such as what's going on right now. Um, I mean, I was born and raised in the city and uh, lived there most of my life, but I got my family out of the city in uh, 2013 when I was 32. So uh, now we live out in the sticks, away from everything. Um, and I just wanted to give you a little insight into, uh, into where I am and what I'm up to. So this is our morning routine. Every morning, we homeschool our kids, by the way. Haven't mentioned that either. So this whole, uh, you know, schools being shut down, everyone having to homeschool, that, that hasn't affected us at all, really. Go out to the barn. Since you moved that barrel, yeah. I can just put it right here. The water? Yeah. Okay, that works. What do you got in there, Daisy? Can you see him? What's his name? Peanut. Alright. Food and water for Peanut the rabbit. Now, now we'll go take care of the chickens. So right now we have uh, 12 hens and a rooster. We went years without a rooster. Like what, right when we moved here, we got chickens and we had two bad experiences with roosters. I have talked to you guys about that before, the attacking the kids. But uh, this past year when we got some uh, a new load of hens, one of them turned out to be a rooster and he's actually really good with the kids. So here's the, uh, the chicken coop. All right. She got out. <laughs> there you go. There's Rex. There's our rooster. Filling up the water. Collecting the eggs. Scratch. <laughs> so right beside the chicken coop here, this is our, our garden area. Always overrun with weeds, obviously. We've been pulling the weeds. It's our compost area back there. I got lots of wood right now. I do have a splitter, but uh, I do still uh, split a lot by hand. I like there's a lot of easy stuff that comes in, you know, a lot of ash. Ash is like super easy to split. So I do enjoy splitting by hand, but there's also a lot of really difficult stuff and it's just not worth the time to to sit there and, you know, do eight hits to get one <clears throat> one little chunk of, of wood out of there, you know what I mean? So, um, so I have the splitter for, you know, I use the splitter for maybe half of my wood or something just to speed things up here and there. So I do have an old barn. That's where I was filming a lot, you know, a lot of my knots tutorials were filmed in the barn. I'll show you guys real quick here. Now what this is, um, this is an old bank barn. So what happened here is like many years ago, the ramp collapsed. Um, so, so when we bought this place, everyone was saying that the barn was condemned and had to come down. Um, but from what I could tell, 
it was in really good shape. The, the beams were all good. The construction was solid. Uh, I mean, the house is 1880, so the barn is potentially older than that even. Um, but then I, so I was, I was happy with the barn. I couldn't get into it because like, you know, like I said, the ramp had collapsed, but uh, I, I jacked it up down there. Now this needs to be fixed big time, but you can see I jacked it up across the middle there. And then I built this crappy little ramp just so I could get in there. Uh, this is like my workshop area here. I, I cut a hole in the wall here, put an old window that I got at the side of the road. And I've got some, uh, some lights set up here for filming. So, so this is just a collection of random stuff in the old barn. But you can see, I mean, the beams, the beams are pretty good. I did fix, there was one, one big hole in the roof and it was, where is it? Right up, right there. There was a big hole there. So I fixed that. I live out in the middle of nowhere for a reason. You know what I mean? I got my family out of the city in 2012 because of all the craziness. And I got to tell you, at a time like this, you know what? I couldn't appreciate being out in the middle of nowhere more than I do right now. You know what I mean? And I, I feel for anyone stuck in, in an urban, you know, in a, in a dense, densely populated area. I don't know. It's, uh, things are crazy right now, obviously. Um, so, yeah, but I, I mean, you know, that being said, there's there's all kinds of things that you can do to be prepared uh, in the city. You know, I just I just know for me personally, I know that my stress level would be a lot higher if I was in in the city. So, oh well, I'll show you one more thing. This is my uh, this is my storage shed for all my tree gear. This is an old chicken coop that I got from another buddy. Well, he's a tree guy. I, I used to subcontract for him all the time, but he was getting rid of this old shed. And so uh, we, we, we threw a rope around it and we used his tractor and we just hauled it up onto my old trailer there. So brought it to my place. So this is where I keep all my tree gear. pretty scrappy setup you know and that's how I like it you know and I, I'm an expert in nothing trust me but you know if I can if I can contribute anything just let me know all right hit me up in the comments and uh, you know I'm really 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 trying to put out more stuff um, I am a recovering perfectionist among other things so I'm trying to get over that you know what I mean so hopefully uh, hopefully videos like this are helpful and uh, you know and I'll keep working to, to put stuff out for you guys so until next time fist bump